Hello, I'm Doug DeWitt, T-Shirt Transfer Paper Product Manager here at Condi Systems, welcoming you to another video in our series on the Okidata White Toner Printer and the new Forever Low Temp Laser Dark T-Shirt Transfer Paper. What we're going to do in today's video is we're going to do what we call a calibration test. Now normally, whenever you are using a self-weeding paper through the Oki White Toner Printer, we recommend going through the front panel of the printer to turn your white density down to a setting called minus three. It reduces the amount of white toner that's laid on the page so that you get more durability out of your transfers. However, with the Forever Low Temp Laser Dark, Forever has come out with some different calibration settings, not just for the white, but for the cyan, magenta, and yellow. So what we have done here is we've gone ahead and produced two transfers one under our normal default setting and one under the recommended forever setting. What we're going to do is we're going to walk you through those calibration settings on our 920WT so you know how to adjust your white toner printer. Once we've done that, we're going to go to the heat press. We're going to apply both these samples onto Hanes 100% cotton t-shirts and then when we remove the backing sheets, I want to let John, our professional cameraman from Ion Digital, zoom in so that we can see if there is a difference between using normal default settings and the new forever recommended settings. So let's go ahead and get started first by going over to our printer to show you how to calibrate yours for this step. Let me go ahead and show you how to adjust the calibration to what we would recommend as a default setting where we readjust the white toner to a negative three. This would be a standard default for any t-shirt transfer paper you choose to use. We want to press the menu button to access the menu. We want to scroll all the way down to calibration and press enter. At this point, we want to go all the way down the menu till we get to white darkness. We'll press enter. You'll notice that the default is zero. What we want to do is reduce that to minus three, press the enter button so that the asterisk appears, that means the change is locked in, then we press the back button until we get to ready to print. Now give me a second and let me show you how to calibrate for the new forever low temperature laser dark. Now that we're back at the front panel of the Oki C920WT, Let's recalibrate to the recommended settings for the Forever Low Temperature Laser Dark. Remember, these settings are recommended by Forever. We'll press the menu, move all the way down to calibration, press enter. Now we're going to scroll down till we get to cyan darkness, press enter. The cyan darkness should be set to zero. This is fine. We'll hit the back button once, scroll down to magenta darkness, press enter. For the magenta darkness, we want to press the up arrow twice to reset to plus two. Press the enter key so the asterisk appears and we've locked in the change. Press the back button once and scroll down to yellow darkness. Press enter again. Again, the default is zero. We're going to press the up arrow once to reset the yellow darkness to plus one. Press enter to lock in the change denoted by the asterisk. Press the back button once and move down to our last change, white darkness. Press the enter key and again, we want to reset the white darkness to minus three. Press enter to lock in the change Hit the back button until we're ready to print. So now that we're here at the press, let's go ahead and apply our two test transfers. Again, we are going to use a Hanes Beefy T 100% cotton t-shirt. I've got my t-shirt addressed over my press. I'm going to take my sticky lint roller and lint roll the area that's going to be under the press to remove any contaminants. Remember, if we drop the press down and there are any fuzzies on, they will become a permanent part of the shirt. Also, we want to make sure we do our pre-press. Again, we're looking for any escaping steam that might be jetting out of the shirt because of the heat and the shirt's ability to retain moisture. If we see no steam escape, we should be good. We can go ahead and lift our press. Nice smooth area to work with. 
and I will take my first transfer. Now down here, I've denoted that this is the transfer done under the normal default setting, which is only adjusting the white density to minus three. This is leaving cyan, magenta, and yellow at their default zero. But let's go ahead, take this transfer, place it on our shirt, swing the press over, and lock the press into position. Again, with the forever low temperature laser dark, if we're going to 100% cotton, the same temperature that we use to apply the emulsion sheet between 315 and 330 degrees Fahrenheit is the same temperature that we use to apply the finished transfer to the garment. We're using the same pressure point for both steps. When our timer goes off, we're going to lift the press, remove the shirt, leave the backing sheet attached, and let it cool down completely. So let me remove this shirt and I'll get the press set up for our next step. We're ready to apply our second forever low temp laser dart transfer, which is one where we have recalibrated the Oki 920WT to the recommended settings given to us by forever. This is having the cyan set at zero, the magenta set at plus two, the yellow set at plus one, and the white set at minus three. Again, I've went ahead and done my prep work to my shirt. Hit it with the sticky lint roller, went ahead and did the pre-press. We'll lay this transfer down, and we are gonna press it at the same temperature and time, 315 to 330 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 seconds. Now remember, we did not show in this video the actual procedure of feeding the forever low temp laser dart through our Oki white toner printer, but we already have a video on Condi TV just look for it there so you can see the step-by-step -step procedure on how to feed this transfer through your printer. Now, when the timer goes off, we're going to let both backing sheets cool down, we're going to peel them away, and we're going to zoom in and show you the finished result of each attempt. Okay, so now we have both our transfers ready. We've given them each five minutes to completely cool down. Remember, you want to check to make sure there is no heat coming from the film sheet. If you feel heat, leave it on there. You want to make sure it's completely cool to the touch before you remove the film sheet. But since these are ready to go, let's go ahead and show you the finished results. Standard default. Forever's new recommended setting. Now I'm going to get John to come and focus in on both these images so that you can see the differences for yourself. Now that you've had an opportunity to look over the results using both the standard default setting and the new calibration settings offered by Forever on their low temp laser dark paper, let me take a minute to give you my assessment. The first thing I generally look for are the reds because red always seems to be a difficult color to hit. Now looking at these two images side by side, I would say that the reds look very similar and I think it's a very good shade of red. So we're good there no matter which way you go. Where I do see the difference in readjusting the way that Forever recommends is in the blues. In my opinion, you're getting a deeper, richer navy blue, and you're also getting better shading when it comes to your off blues, like your baby blues or teals, than you would under the normal default setting. So there may be some credence into what Forever is recommending as far as the adjustment is concerned. Now one thing that we have to bear in mind is by increasing the magenta and the yellow toner output, we are probably going to go through our toner cartridges a little faster, so it might increase our cost per print slightly. How much, it's difficult to say, it's going to depend on graphic to graphic. So perhaps what you need to do is get some samples of this paper and test this theory out yourself. 
In order to make that easier for you, if you contact your Condi Systems account manager and tell them you want Doug DeWitt's T-shirt transfer paper sample pack special, we will give you a 20% discount off the purchase of a 10-sheet sample pack of the Forever Low Temp Laser Dart between now and April 15, 2015. So make sure you contact your account manager to take advantage of that special. Now should you have any questions regarding the test procedure that we went over today, don't hesitate to contact me directly at 1-800-826-6332, extension 204. And make sure you tune in to Condi TVs for more videos concerning the Oki White Toner Printer and our brand new line of self-weeding transfer papers. Until then, I'm Doug DeWitt, T-Shirt Transfer Paper Product Manager here at Condi Systems. My time is up, now thank you for yours.